good morning youtube yeah so i have had this uh, this sps 8940 for barely three weeks now and uh, last night i thought uh, it's about time that i do that i did a, a review and also address some issues which i i have uh, i have had uh, right from the very first day of use so this system uh, is uh, specced with the intel core i7 10700 the 10th generation i7 uh, with 16 gigabyte of memory uh, 8 gigabyte times 2 and uh, with the nvidia geforce out rtx 3600 ti so in my quest to find uh, a very good system to replace my asa which is uh, which, which is almost seven years now and uh, has begun to really run slow uh, even upon um, uh, opening programs like adobe lightroom yeah the, you could hear the system the the fun of the cpu spin desperately uh, trying to try to cool the system down so i came across this offer uh on the dell page on the dell website and uh, i felt it was a good system compared to other other systems from uh, lenovo and acer so yeah what they was offering me with this particular spec um, for that particular price point of uh, 1319 I went ahead and ordered it and uh, three days later it came in I set everything up and uh, yeah right from the start I knew there was something terribly wrong with this system so uh yeah upon moving my files from the old system to this particular new uh, pc i could uh, i could see the temperature of the cpu was uh, running really high so i turned the system off and uh, i popped it open so upon popping upon opening the system uh this is what i came across this is what uh dell the heatsink dell placed on the, the intel i7 to keep the system running cool so uh, right away i knew there was a, a very big uh mistake uh That was that was made uh, in building up this system uh, because uh, there is no way this heat sink was gonna keep was gonna cope up with the kind of heat uh, the core i7 uh, 10th generation was gonna was gonna produce. So I took some dimensions. I popped the system open, took some dimensions uh, of the case, and went on to eBay to find the. Uh, a system unit um, to find uh, to find uh, a CPU cooler um, that was affordable and uh, I came up across this offer from uh, Arctic uh, Arctic freezer the extreme Arctic freezer extreme uh, going for a very good price point so I went ahead and uh, these are the upgrades I have done so far. So, aside changing the stock cooler from what Dell was offering me with this Arctic Freezer Extreme, Extreme, I also found uh, something um, um, the aluminium heating for for the VRM. For the VRMs that were that uh, that are on this particular system that came also without uh, uh, heatsink, and as you can see, 
um, after I took uh, some, after I took the measurement of the VRM, the length and the breadth of the VRM, which uh, was uh, approximately 60 uh, by 20 millimeter, I couldn't find um, the exact. Um, I couldn't find uh, um, a heat sink uh, that that fits the exact uh, dimension. So what I did, I I I searched uh, for uh, VRM heat sink um, with the dimensions of twenty by twenty millimeter, and uh, I bought three of them and uh, I spread them them across the entire length of the VRM. Uh, also, after after replacing the stock heat sink, um, I moved the fan they offered me from first cone to the front of the case, as you can see, to to draw in some cold air uh, to help uh, cool down the the heat sink uh, placed on the CPU. I also uh, ordered uh, one extra uh, cooler from from Arctic Freezer, and uh, yeah, the dimension of of these two coolers on the system uh, the eighty eighty the eighty two millimeter um, fans, and as you can see, I have one positioned uh, just right in front of the of the GPU and the other one positioned uh, just uh, directly in front of the of the heat sink uh, so uh, I have in total three fonts excluding uh, the one that came with uh, the Arctic Freezer Extreme I have three fonts in the system that is uh, helping the um, the heating to keep the system cool yeah so i thought uh, i should share with you i should share with youtube uh to help people out there know how i i managed to solve the problem uh, with the heating the heating issue with this particular system and um yeah the very few the, some of the few upgrades i did yeah so thank you very much and uh yeah uh it's not a perfect video but uh it's my very first time uploading a video on youtube and uh yeah let me know uh from you guys um uh, the improvements or if you have any uh, questions or any suggestions uh, let me know in the comments below thank you and have a nice day so before before I replaced uh, this stock cooler uh, with the Arct uh, Arctic Freezer Extreme, uh, this system um, was running pretty hot at uh, about uh, 98 degrees Celsius. Uh, even when I was running basic programs like uh, like the uh, uh, Windows Defender, when I was scanning the system for for viruses. After moving all my files from the from the ASA onto this system, yeah. So even without um, stress testing uh, the system or running some benchmarks, uh, I realized uh, the system was running pretty hot um, uh, with this basic uh, heat sink. And um, yeah, I can I can see after replacing the heat sink uh, with this uh, Arctic Freezer Extreme, yeah. The temperatures are barely um, rising to um, uh, 80 degrees um, even at uh, around 70 degrees when the fans have not really kicked in yeah uh, everything is running normal and um, when i'm stress testing the system when i'm running some um, um, some benchmarks when the systems when when the fans all the fans on this cpu have all kicked in uh, are all uh, running at a high R rpms the temperature of um, um, 
of the CPU is uh, maxed at uh, around 65 degrees Celsius, uh, which is almost uh, more than uh, um, 30 degrees uh, difference compared to when I was using the stock heatsink uh, Dell offered me. Uh, so all in all, I can see these are these are pretty good upgrades uh, I have done so far, and uh, yeah, there may be in the future. Uh, I would replace the two fans that came with the system, uh, the two fans from Foxconn because uh, these two fans are pretty loud. Um, if I if I disconnect the two fans from Foxconn, um, leaving the one uh, that is on the Arctic Freezer Extreme and Extreme and the one uh, the 82 millimeter fan uh, I ordered extra from uh, Arctic Cooling yeah the system runs uh, pretty silent and um, yeah i would say upon this uh, basic analysis yeah uh, i would suddenly upgrade uh, these two fans from foscon uh, in the near future and so i felt that should i should share with you guys on youtube uh, to make you know the uh, pretty basic upgrades i have done so far which is uh, helping keep uh this system run at a pretty low temperature yeah so that's that that is all and um don't forget to like and comment and uh, let me know what i can improve uh, if you have any questions or suggestions uh, please please don't uh, be hesitant to let me know in the comment box below